What's up guys, Harthic here. I'm playing some more Mass Effect. In between videos I did a little bookkeeping, namely I used up my skill points to get Barrier, among other things. I also turned up the aim assist back to normal, just because it was odd that every time I was using a power, my crosshair would just go whoosh, like that, you know. So, that's it though. Let's get started. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. How are you doing? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right, <sighs> so. But at least Fuck you stopped Saren. Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, that was fucking awful. He didn't even get to... Do yeah, I anything. wish I could have done something to save him. He did exactly what I told him to when he there. died. He did everything right. It was just bad luck. Got torn to shreds. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. Yeah, that's not good. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Seems like you got a good out. grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a Makes sense to me. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I was my family on Mindwar, but uh, on Mindwar. yeah. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, the Blitz. I imagine that bought you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh... Tell me why? We gotta let the council know what the hell just the captain happened. captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Sounds good. Doctor. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted out of right Chuckles. out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. Okay. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Oh, that's so nice. humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. True. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Is that a good thing? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Understandable sentiment. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. That's good. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Sounds like a great captain. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special wow. commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Okay. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Like what? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Oh, Jesus. There's a long list of horrific side effects. That Payton's sounds lucky. awful. He just gets migraines. Fuck. All I right, should go. See you later. Goodbye, Commander. Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins was, was a valuable awful. part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You'd still be here regardless. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Just did what There's I nothing was special to. about me, Williams. Anyone would have done the same. Held off an entire enemy platoon? Alone? With all due respect, Commander, I think you've got somebody watching over you. If you say so. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. 
but to see my whole unit wiped out. Ton of people fucking and you died. never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. It's a team effort, Thanks, guys. Commander. It's not all me. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think welcome you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Alright, so those are my two squad mates right now. We got Ashley and Caden. Ashley's a soldier, and Caden is a vanguard, I think? Something like that. The one that's biotic and, uh, soldier. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Okay, Captain. Let's go say hi to Joker. I guess we're going into dock and sit at all, I think. So let's go say hi. Anybody else to talk to before then? Manual. Some experience. Let's talk to Presley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah, that was fucking awful. Alright, guys. Keep up the good work. Good job. Joker, what's up? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Alright. Okay, so we're jumping on this mass relay. We're going to the Citadel. Let's see what we're getting into today. What's with all the clouds? That's pretty impressive. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size wow. isn't everything. Oh, Why Jesus so Christ. I'm just saying you need firepower, too. It's a big Look ass at that ship. Monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Alright. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. And here we go. We're docking. Normandy SR1. Very nice. And there's the Citadel. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Somebody's pissed. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Okay. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They're they not very pleasant. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Okay. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's not our fault. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. This guy's an Shepard, asshole. you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. Fuck this guy. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. 
And that's why I hate politicians. I don't blame you. Jesus. Sure is peaceful here. Big place. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. What? That's kind of racist. Oh, let's hack into the computer playing Prager. Woohoo! Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol in the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Hmm. Okay. What do we got over here? Man, I got a lot of fucking guns. <laughs> Two big four legged aliens and this thing. Let's say hi. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Sleep, I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? The hell is Why up? do you explain what yeah. you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. I see. Plainly. We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Huh. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, Din doesn't like I'm me, I very think. sorry for you. So, Tell me more about your yeah, species. Yeah, what are you? An Elcor? Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. So Tell me your about history? the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. Okay. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Nice. Probably. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Nice. That's cool. I'd like to know more about the culture What's of the your culture like? Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. I can our see that. You're pretty big. Our built on small, tight-knit groups. Ah. Though we are always welcoming to okay. outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Huh. Okay. What do you do here? They're like steady, same, Modestly. similar stuff. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Huh. Nice. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Somebody says rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Nice to meet you. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. I will. Earth How about Clan, you? You are in the wrong place, I think. Your Ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. Somebody doesn't like At us. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Son. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Just trying to say hi. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Okay. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. Yeah, we met. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Okay. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. No. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. Yeah, what's up? 
My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Very nice. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. I guess you don't like that very much. What Tell about me about culture? Volus' culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Okay. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Interesting. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Makes sense. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. You really don't like the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor yeah. or Volus part of the Council? How does this All work? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Huh. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. I don't think Din likes really? humans very much. How long much. have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. So why are you, you so pissed off, You seem to have a bit off, of a chip Din? on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has That's expanded a lot of territory. since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Well, I can't say it was a pleasure goodbye, talking, Ambassador. but goodbye. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. How about you? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's you seem problem? distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. Consort? She's the one who started all this. Who the fuck is Who's the this Asari Consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Yeah, just Everyone got here. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. Sha'ira, okay. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can that I sucks. find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Okay. Let's see who else we can talk to. We'll admit this game is a lot of talking. A lot. But it's fun. I enjoy it. The conversations are usually rather interesting. Receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yeah. Huh. Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm notable? What is this place? Well, I guess I am this is Spectre the candidate. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. Okay. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Ooh, where was What's Avina? That? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I understand that. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Nice to meet you. It's over here. People talking. Some more doors. Let me in. 
What's over here? A diplomat talking. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Nice. Some stuff added to the codex. So the codex is like an uh human delighted welcome. It is good to meet you. Good to meet you too. The codex is an in-universe encyclopedia. You can use it if you really want to know more about, say, the Elcor or Turians. I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Well, sir. Ah, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. No? You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. It's true. Never said what you do you get. know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Counselor, so they like to be called. Okay. More like the underhanded side of the council. What do you have against the Spectres? Yeah, what's wrong with the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. I guess it's understandable. When it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. Well, yeah. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. Okay. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Makes sense. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Ah, oh, that sounds fun. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Alright then. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Anything else in here I can, like, deal with? Oh, we got another computer. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients. Cross the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us. Fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join in us in the Hawking Ada Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay. Interesting. Whatever works. What's over here? This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. There's plenty of humans. I don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She could talk to the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's <laughs> nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> She's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk <laughs> to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did, too. Shut up, Fredericks. Nice. What do you want? Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. You're fine. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, <laughs> that is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Yeah. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Alright. Couple people talking about the consort. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Sure. What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Sure. What, what do you got? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Understandable. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. I have. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Okay. Thanks Goodbye. for the info. So long, Commander. 
Have a pleasant day. Nasana. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Fine. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Uh, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's go explore a little bit. What else can we find around here? Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings, and this? welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? Yeah, what the I hell? am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I see. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Oh, I'm good. I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Have a nice day. You too. What is this? Rapid transit. I can go to the tower. Let's go! To the tower. That's where I was told to go to meet with the council. Who's this? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. That probably doesn't sound good. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. Sounds shitty. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Yeah. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Okay. Let's go talk to the council. I'm guessing they're over here. You know, up the stairs. Makes sense. Put them at the tallest spot. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Huh. Gotta love NPC conversations like that. Alright, Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. Okay. I'm here. Don't worry. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. Great. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly... It's a Solarian, huh? I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. That doesn't and sound this good. must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. I see. But what can you expect from a human? Yeah. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Bastard. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Right. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of He's testimony? He's got a point. I agree. 
Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. I can't really Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. Right. I'm glad to see justice was served. Well, that sucked. This meeting is adjourned. Wow, we suck. We felt miserably at that. Fucking hell. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Well, that's not Every good. colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history yeah, between you and Saren. What the hell is Saren? going on between you two? I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. So what do we do now? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Okay. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the oh, job. Oh, great. I won't waste my time with that. R1 contact is a to. drunk. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. That's you can't just cut up. Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Anything else? Maybe we there's can use? another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Shadow the Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. Oh, he that's might know nice. something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What the what hell happened? happened between you two? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Okay. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. That's fucked up. And the official records just covered it all up. What but I hell? saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Bastard. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. That sounds fucking awful. Alright. I should go. We Good luck, some shit to investigate. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, that's it for this video, guys. We failed miserably to get Saren disbarred from the Spectres. Now we gotta figure out a way to get it done. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did like it, subscribe it, comment below. You can follow me on Twitter at Harthic7790. My Tumblr page, harthic.tumblr.com, and my Facebook page, facebook.com slash harthic7790. Till next time, guys. This is Harthic. See you later.